Well, back at the off-grid family camp and it is a uh, an off-grid kind of a weekend powered um, pretty much by the EcoFlow Delta um, and a couple of other devices so if you're interested in um, how we manage up here off the grid stay tuned um, including a lights upgrade which we're very excited about I don't know if I've really talked about this uh, lawnmower before and um, I just want to shout it out because I've had it for about four years and it is still cutting grass like a champion. I'm still running on the original 40 volt. Uh, I have two 40 volt batteries that came with it um, and they're still working great. And if you've seen a lot of my videos before, then you know that uh, I use those same 40 volt batteries with a small inverter to charge cameras, flashlights, phones and other devices on long camping trips because pound for pound they uh they pack a lot of pack a lot of juice which is really helpful when you're off grid okay this these are 12 volt fluorescent bulbs uh, most of the light in here is window light but these are what are getting replaced on this trip so we might as well go ahead and unbox these 12 volt LED lights. So these are like a great, I need a knife, off-grid solution for anybody who's got um, a hunt camp, uh, maybe a trailer, an old fish shack. Um, so these came from the Cabin Depot. Check them out at thecabindepot.com or .ca. I'm gonna link them below. Um, kind enough to send me some bubble wrap, which the kids are going to love. Um, but more importantly, these, uh, their own brand of 12 volt, of well wrapped 12 volt LED lights, which I'm very excited to used to replace oh, I'm going to pop it all before the kids get at it um, to replace the fluorescent ones that are here for two reasons um, one these are going to throw more light and uh, as well they're going to draw less power um, so these are 24 inch 12 volt LED tubes uh, you've maybe seen my setup here before which is that um, this camp basically runs off of propane for the fridge and stove and a 40 watt solar panel from the 1990s and a 100 watt Coleman solar panel two 6 volt batteries and um, and that powers everything else that we want to have here. Lights, computers, flashlights, whatever. So, uh, instruction manual, mounting hardware, and then the, um, the strip itself. So we're going to wire this one up above me. Yes, if I'm going to work on this light, I have to turn it off, which means I'm going to work by headlamp light. So um, this is the Olight Peron, not the Mini Peron. And um, well, this looks this looks pretty easy. I should give you a little look at what's going on up here. So. 12 volt so the nice thing is um, it's a little easier to work with I think than 120 volt uh, but I've got my red black my black and white coming from my lights so all I have to do is disconnect these guys and then disconnect this ballast 
put the new one in the same spot and then just reconnect the wires. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's give it a go. Okay. So there's that. Don't lose the marats. And what do I need here? I need to take this bulb out of the way and take out two wood screws. Brought the Makita. I'm gonna hashtag Makita on this video. Um, I contacted Makita and said that I would really like to do a review of their um, cordless chainsaw. I never heard back from them. But uh, hey Makita, I'd still like to do a review of a cordless chainsaw. I think it'd be super handy. Yeah, I'd like to try one out. But I'm too cheap to pay for one. But I'm happy to show one. Okay, one, two, boom. Done. Um, I was gonna do this video in little pieces, but it's so fast that I might just do it live. Oh, how easy is that? Um, check this out. This just has, oh, can I, can I do this? Oh yeah. It just clips on and they slide because I was a little bit worried this is a 24 inch ballast, but it's going on to about an 18 inch um, bracket up there. But that is not to worry about because this is a super handy design that, sorry, I'm working off camera here. The clips are a little bit tricky, but I'm going to put these guys in. Now, I'm gonna reuse these same screws even. Uh, or do they have to be little flat ones? Uh, I'm gonna use their little flat ones. I'm not gonna reuse those. So, oh, I like their little package has even got a Ziploc. You don't have to rip it open. And it comes with the two morettes that you need, so I don't even have to reuse my old ones. And it's got the drywall um, plugs if you're mounting it on drywall. Now, because these are sliding brackets, I guess I technically don't even really have to center them anywhere. Because I can just center the light after. So let's put one there. And let's put one over here. Oh, we've got the best, the best camp weather today. Uh, we've had a little bit of rainy weather coming up here, but today it is sunny and it is stinking hot. I'm sweating buckets right now. So, can I... Holy, I have like, I have enough cable to run this pretty much all the way over to my little fuse panel. But what I'm gonna do, just for future flexibility, is I'll just coil it all up and leave it attached above. And... Um, I'm gonna do this. Just gonna let 
just gonna push on like so. Uh, now the one thing that I hadn't really planned for is that I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to wire a uh, a switch into this. Okay, this um. Hey, want to see our new light? Sure. Tell me what you think. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> that's really good. Is that better than the last one? Yeah. Uh huh. Brighter, less power. It's pretty awesome, eh? That literally lights up the whole room. It it actually yeah it also throws light. And it doesn't like take like five seconds to light up. Yeah, on. it doesn't blink, blink, blink. There you go. Take it from a kid. Um, yeah, dude. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> oh. You ready? <gasps> Ta -da! Ta -da! What do you think? It's more yellow than it is blue. Last time it was blue. Yes. So these are not the. Um, I think these are the yellow light. Well, the warm light, not the cool light. So they have a little more yellow in them. Warm light, more like anything? sunlight, and yeah, these are better warm. for your eyes. It says right on the box, warm light. Is it warm light closer to sunlight, and then your then it's better for your eyes than blue light, which is harsh and like. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hey. Also, look. Um, Cabin Depot sent you guys some. Uh, oh, it's like ash. Look! Look what I have. Over here. Just for a second, like for a minute. Why? You must have almost popped them all by now because I just I wanted to say what I did. I stole the switch out of the old ballast and I wired it in. It's not set up properly, but I definitely for this video wanted to show the light working on a switch. I'm gonna put in a better switch because this one's a little bit exposed. Um, but this was a good upgrade. And right? so is the bubble wrap. And the bubble wrap is a huge hit. If you want bubble wrap, uh, order w something breakable from the Cabin Depot. Link below. www.bubblewrapscams.com Bu Bubblewrapscams.com Wait, I was going to say Like bubble wrap, but it's a scam because there's no more wrap, it's all... I mean, there's no more bubbles, it's all wrap. Yeah, and then there's no bubble wraps. Okay, okay, okay. Still throwing some beautiful light. We had a great night last night um, and everybody decided that they're really fond of these new LED lights. Um, so just for comparison, these old fluorescent tubes are, oh, that one's different. That's a 15 watt tube. And this one here is also a 15 watt tube so there's 30 watts there the new Kendron LED is a 20 watt bulb so it's using two-thirds the amount of power um, but I think it's throwing about twice as much light so the next time I come up I'm going to install the other 20 watt LED on this um, bracket here so we'll get more more kitchen light look at my messy kitchen um and uh and i think that'll be a lot better i just want to pick up a better switch for it so i don't have a switch dangling i'm going to pick up a 12 volt switch that can just be attached here to um, turn the light off and on so cabin depot that's where those lights came from they also they're pretty much like a one-stop shop for um for off-grid stuff they got propane appliances fridges and stoves they've got uh, 12 volt refrigerators um, pretty much anything you can think of I'm in the shadows um, that you might need for, for off-grid living so pretty cool spot um, I went for a little walk yesterday check this out unrelated to lights but look at them in the light yellow chanterelles black chanterelles um, so nice little haul of mushrooms here I think I'm going to put together 
and you get a, a bowl that doesn't rock and put together a nice omelet for the kids later. Okay, back in my home kitchen and what I want to do is to make a chanterelle quiche with these beautiful mushrooms that I harvested. So first thing I'm going to do is get about that many of them and do a little check here for bugs and slugs and pine needles. Have a little look through. So there's often, because of the funnel shape of the black chanterelles, they often um, often have stuff inside of them. So it's a good idea to split each one open and have a look inside. There's often a little bit of dirt. Um, you may be more or less concerned about the cleanliness of your mushrooms than I am. I'm often fairly cursory in my going over for bugs and slugs and things like I certainly don't want to eat a, a gritty quiche um, and I don't want to eat that slug so that's coming out of there. Um, I have a little brush that I could use too. <coughs> These work pretty good just to like get any dry grit off the bottom of the yellow chanterelles. You hungry for some lunch soon, Monkey? I'm gonna do a quiche with the chanterelles. Quiche? Yeah, quiche. Yeah. Okay, brush, brush, brush. Good. Sounds like quiche is gonna be a hit. Brush, 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 brush. Okay. Looks good. So next, let's get a pan heated up. Okay, let's go medium heat. Let's add some. Whew. You can tell it's warm in here because the butter is all soft add some butter let's chop some mushrooms uh, oh I know what I want to do also let's take one of the nice ones and let's see if we can make a little signature piece for the middle, the middle of the quiche, and then otherwise nothing, nothing too fancy here, just get them into smaller pieces, quiche's pieces, good, mushrooms, Butter melting in here. Mmm, butter. So we're gonna pre-cook those. And we need to get our eggs ready. I have some pre-cracked eggs because they didn't travel very well from camp. So let's try and recover few of those. A little messy. We don't want those eggshells in there. Pick those out. Here's a trick for you. The best way to get an eggshell out is with another eggshell. Surprisingly. And there is a pre-cracked egg. These are all farm eggs from my parents place. Let's use, it's a pretty shallow pie crust and there's going to be lots of chanterelles. So let's use six eggs. Is that four? Five, a little more eggshell in there. Just 
Fish that out. Six eggs. Now, I want to, actually I have a bucket. I always keep my eggshells, dry them up and crush them for in the garden. So I'll throw those in my bucket. Let's add a little bit of milk to this. If I had a little bit of cream, I would add a little bit of cream. Put in about yay amount. Let's shred our cheese right in here. And then we'll slice some cheese to go on the top. Let's move these out of the way. <clears throat> Let's stir our mushrooms. Look at this. Adam Craig made me this out of uh, spalted maple. His logo is a little bit worn, but in the sticks, woodworking. Now I want to maybe try not to break my big signature mushroom piece. This shouldn't take too long to cook. Flip this one over, make sure it cooks on both sides. Nice cast iron pan. Okay, let's get a fork. Okay, with a fork, let's beat these eggs. Mix in this cheese. Okay, set that aside. Uh, let's do some slices for on top. Probably want to use almost the rest of this cheese. Kids like a really cheesy, cheesy quiche. Okay, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350. And I'm just gonna throw my other rack in here to the middle-ish part. How are these guys looking? They're looking almost, almost done. And our signature one is a little bit slower to cook because it's the biggest piece. So let's let's move these mushrooms into our mixture of egg and milk and cheese. Oops, mushroom mess. I think chanterelles are particularly good in omelets and quiches. my opinion. So, kind of good in like everything. Those in there. One that I dropped here. Let this guy keep cooking a little bit. Oven is preheating and I've got a cheater pie crust right there. I'm going to dust it with a little bit of flour to keep the bottom from getting soggy. Maybe a tablespoon. This guy's almost done. Now I have a little bit of browning on it. Looks good. Let's bring our cheese over. There's our cheese. I'm gonna turn that pan off. I'm going to stir all this cheese and mushroom and egg and milk together. 
that's going in here. Make sure it's kind of evenly distributed. Okay, accidentally did like the perfect volume, so that's a win. Now I like to do kind of a cheese pattern on here, if I can. That looks all right. Fill in a couple corners. Give me a nice cheese topping on here, and then let's just set that guy on there. We definitely have the makings of a chanterelle quiche. All right. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm in here. Let's put it in here, and we'll just keep checking it because I don't know how long it needs to go in there for. But I'll tell you when it's done. Okay. Oh, great. Just uh, checking on the quiche. I was helping my girls figure out some computer stuff and I got a little bit distracted. This is, nope. Not done, but it's getting close. Well, it smells done. So it must be pretty close. coming out pretty clean although it looks a little bit moist still but does it ever look good Ooh, it's just all melted cheese no a couple more minutes but see that nice little signature mushroom in there makes that look like a pretty good quiche I think it's gonna be done it Looks done, smells done. Oh yeah, it's really puffed up. Look at the way the pastry's lifted off the pan here. That looks so good. There's your chanterelle quiche. Now, all that's to be done is to eat it. You guys, you guys wanna see us have a bite? Okay, hang in there. First we gotta let it cool. Looks good. Mm. Is good. Cheesy, mushroomy. A couple things you could do. Um, I forgot to use salt and pepper. You could spice it. Sometimes I like to put Italian um, dry spice on top of these kinds of things. Um, also, a really great great way to add salt is a little bit of feta, feta cheese sprinkled through here. That is also excellent. So, mushroom, wild mushroom, quiche, chanterelle quiche, success. See you on the next one.